Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel here on this Thursday afternoon. Now we're on to episode number 7 of the 5th season here of the Ross Albastri. We've got a very, very important and ultimately tough fixture coming up today in the Champions League first knockout rounds. Now who's it going to be against, I hear you say? Well, you're going to have to watch and find out. But let's get into today's episode anyway. We've got a few things we need to tie up before we get into today's big game. I promise you it is well worth watching. Let's go and run the intro and get into today's episode then. Welcome back then. Now, since you joined us yesterday, we have played a few games off camera. Obviously, we're going to come back today with the first round knockouts of the Champions League. So in between that, we've had a few games that we've needed to play to progress that far. First of which came up against Poly Timisora in the Liga 1. And it was a very, very professional performance from the lads, really. Cristiano Cuccia opening up the scoring in the 15th minute. Lucas Bilia enhanced that lead from the penalty spot in the 25th minute before Callum Gribbin added a third in the 60th minute and then added his second and our fourth of the game in the 63rd minute. We dominated from start to finish and it was a really, really solid performance from the team and one in which, you know, we were expected to win and we did just as expected. Then after that came the Cupa Roman A seventh round, a competition we've had a lot of success in on this save and it was a very much what was expected yet again. We won this game 3-0, courtesy of goals from Jurisovic in the 16th minute. Griffin on the score sheet again in the 63rd minute before Ash Kigbu added a third in the 68th minute. We dominated Alin Tosca picking up a man of the match performance with two assists from that left wing back position. And we were just really good throughout this. We dominated again 54%, 22 shots at goal. And we were just a better team. You know, we are a very, very competent and decent side now, particularly on the domestic sphere, as we've seen by getting to the Champions League final, which I'm sure I've mentioned about 500 times now. But bear with me. So, yeah, we dominated this game and that was another win. We're through to the next round of that competition. And next up, we had a league game. Wrong. No, we didn't. We actually had a Romanian League Cup semi-final first leg to play against CSM Polilazi, a team that we have had a lot of success against. They, we thrashed them, I believe, 7-0 last time we played them. And we beat them comprehensively again, 3-0 this time. Griffin on the score sheet again for the third time in a row. Six minutes it took for him to open the scoring for us. That was followed up by a brace from Christian Lacucha, who scored first of all in the 36th minute, following up that two minutes later with another goal with that left foot of his. And he's been real, real talent. The story, possibly, of the save, along with Callum Gribbin, who has got a goal and an assist in this game. But it was Lacucha who took the Man of the Match award with a 9.2 rating for his brace. And again, we march on to the next round. We've got a real healthy advantage. And it looks like we're going to be in another Romanian League Cup final. Well, then after that, we had three friendlies during the break. And we won that 5-2, 3-0 and 3-0. But here on the screen is our first league game back after the kind of break we get between December and February. We won this game 1-0, but we went down to 10 men in the 46th minute courtesy of a red card for Maniru but we managed to hold on again gripping on the score sheet second minute of play and we held firm in the latter stages of the game we passed the ball around while well. we had 62% of the play here and we managed to hold on they, they tried to force the issue in the latter stages of the game but we just managed to cling on we passed it around while well. we kept possession as we kind of hoped we would we made a couple of changes in the latter stage of the game, Lukucha came off to bring on a more defensive option. Then we brought off Olkowski for Bryce Deidre JJ towards the end as he'd begun to get tired. But it's a good performance. I mean, generally speaking, we would have won this 2-3, maybe 4-0. But given we went down to 10, it was one of our vital workhorses in the middle of the park that went as well. I thought we did well. It's a good three points. Now, there were just three days later until our next game. And I think the, the kind of... The trial and tribulation of being down to 10 men for such a long period of time really took the gas out of the players and they, they put in a flat performance here. With just a 1-1 draw against Panturi Targujui, a team which we've had a lot of success against. We just couldn't couldn't really perform today. We opened the scoring in the 29th minute before Alan Tosca scored an own goal a minute later. And from that point in, we are kind of FM'd really. We dominated the game from possession and shots and everything else. Stats. But they got that own goal and they shut up shop and we just couldn't penetrate their back line. And it was a combination, I just think, of the amount of effort we had to put in to hold on against CFR Cluj that just kind of saw us kind of just not, not as prolific in front of goal in that final third. 
But again, it's a vital point towards winning that title. Again, for Stovey Caress, I'm, I'm happy with that. It wasn't a loss, although it does kind of feel a bit like one. But we managed to get another point on the board. And that's another point towards success. May you be forgiven for thinking that perhaps Stowe Bucharest are on a bit of a bad run. Now, we managed to pull this back here with a beautiful 4-0 victory over Betraya Duamna. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Betraya Duamna are a much worse side than we are. But we really turned up the screw on these guys. We turned up the heat and it was a real good second half performance. They didn't really perform. It was only 1-0 up going into half time. But we did a good team talk at half time. And we managed to galvanised the players into doing something. And that was seen with a Cristiano Kucha goal in the 50th minute, followed up by Raz Van Marin in the 61st minute, before Gribben added another goal in the 69th minute. And we come away 4-0 healthy victors. Now, we've got the Champions League fixture coming up next. It's our first game. We're away from home. We've got a bit of a toughie. So let's go and see who we're going to play in the Champions League first knockout rounds. That is right, people. We are here and we've got to play Real Madrid in the first knockout round legs. Um, it's going to be such a tough one, this. I was hoping we could have a bit of run in the competition, but Real Madrid is going to be a serious test. Now, they finished third in La Liga last season, so perhaps they might be on the wane a little bit. Let's go and have a quick look at the kind of squad that we're dealing with here. So they've got Kilo Navas in goal. They've got Carvajal, Rudiger, Sergio Ramos, Pablo Garcia, who I believe is a regen. Yeah, he's a regen. He looks quite good as well. Rashedli Bazoa, Marcelo. Tony Cruz, Casemiro, Yuri Tielmans, Douglas Costa, Dembele, Cristiano Ronaldo is still there, Gareth Bale, oh, it's just endless, Eden Hazard, Karim Benzema. We may as well give up now, lads. There's absolutely no way we're going to get past Real Madrid. They're absolutely class compared to us. Joachim Lowe is the manager. Ramos is the captain. And it's just going to be, it's going to be impossible. We're at the Bernabeu for the first game in the first leg. I mean, if we can somehow scrape a draw or even a narrow 1-0 defeat, we'll give it the best we can at the National Arena. But let's be honest, I can't see this happening. We did, however, manage to beat Barcelona and Man City. Just, it's Real Madrid, isn't it? It's, it's going to be so hard. So let's go and set up the squad anyway and do the best we can. Come back in a minute when we'll go through the squads. So then we've picked the teams here for this first game against Real Madrid and they've gone with Kilo Navas in goal. Bernat, Ramos, Garcia and Carvajal at the back with Cruz, Casemiro, Dembele, Tielmans and Bale with Cristiano Ronaldo up front on his own. We're going with Kojikaru in goal, Eden Ibrich, Jack Stevens, Kenneth Omaruo with Novacek and Olkowski as the wing-backs. In the middle we've got Archim and Perez with Lakucha, Keane and Jurisovic up front. We're going with a contain mentality today just because it's Real Madrid, we're away from home. We're going to try and limit the damage the best we can. It's going to be a very, very tough game, this one, as we've come to expect. I and mean, I don't really expect much in the way of players that we can really put it on here, really. I'm going to check anyway, but, I mean, Dembele, we can do him. I'm going to make sure he comes into his week of foot. We're going to do the same with Bale. We're also going to do the same with Bernat and Carvajal. So here we go then, we're going to go out there and we're going to try and do it for the fans best we can we're on contain we're away from home here at the Bernabeu it's going to be a real tough one guys so let's cheer Stowe Bucharest on can we get possibly the greatest result of this save today I'm not too sure so the team are coming out then for this first half here at the Bernabeu and it looks like we're going to be kicking from right to left here with Real Madrid left to right who's going to have the kickoff it's going to be um, Stowe Bucharest and we're kicking from left to right actually so Stevens plays the ball to Ibrich and that is is the end of that highlight and we've got a highlight here and it's Bernat to Ramos who plays it across field to Garcia to Carvajal now advances forward to Bale Bale inside to Tony Cruz Cruz out wide to Usman Dembele who cuts inside lovely tackle by Kenneth Omarillo though clears the danger to Jurisovic now Jurisovic finds Keane Keane to Christian Lacucha who has the ball plays it back to Christy Novacek who has time and space and finds Lacucha with a lofted pass Lacucha in towards Keane and Will Keane sticks to Bucharest in the lead here against Real Madrid at the Bernabeu about what a start here for Stoa Bucharest. Christian Lacucha, the architect, with a lovely lofted cross with his left foot and keen at the near post, gets his bonds onto it. Navas gets a hand to it, manages to put it right into the roof of the net. What a start that has been. We're going to assertively encourage the lads after that. And now it's Olkowski to Keane and Keane finds Jurisovic in space. Jurisovic, oh! Jurisovic manages to blaze the ball over the bar. What a start this is for Stoa. 
Real Madrid are on the ropes here, and it's Ibrich now. Eden Ibrich back to Kojikaru. Kojikaru comes out, plays the ball to Kenneth Omaru. He's closed down by Dembele, but finds Perez to Olkowski. Olkowski to Keane. Keane plays it back to Vlad Archimu. Finds Perez in space. Perez takes a shot. What a save from Navas. Low down to his left. Ball goes out for a corner, and it's going to be... Looks like it's going to be Will Keane, perhaps, who's going to take it. And it's Jurisovic who's going to take it with an away swinger. End towards Omaru at the back post, but Navas dives high and wide into the air. Claims the ball and relieves the danger. Now we're 25 minutes into this game and it, they've got a call. No, they've got a free kick and it's Dembele with a shot. And Usman Dembele fires it into the top corner for his fourth goal of the season. And all of a sudden, Real Madrid are back into this game. Lovely uh, free kick there from Real Madrid. Dembele, no one closing him down really. Off the left peg, gets a little deflection and the ball ends up in the back of the net. And Real Madrid are back on terms here. And we're going to cut assertively encouraged. We've got around nine or so minutes to go in this first half. It's Olkowski who finds Omaruo. Olkowski to Keane. Keane looks forward, finds Archim. Archim back to Ruben Perez who has time. Finds Novasek on the inside. Out wide to Olkowski. Switches the play. Olkowski comes inside to Archim. What a fucking goal from, Ol from Archim. Vlad Archim. Absolute first time. Absolute screamer. Paul Scholes-esque from Vlad Archim. Olkowski cuts the ball back. To Archim, who's in space on the edge of the air, and he fires forward with a real pile driver right into the side net, past the keeper. What a bloody goal that was. And we are now 2-1 up, heading into half-time against Real Madrid. Got a highlight, though, and it looks like they could have a little say here just before half-time, and it's Bernat, but it's Stevens who heads the ball away, and Archim now picks it up to Novacek. Christy Novacek inside Lukucha. Lukucha to Jurisovic, and Navas comes out and claims the ball. Good keeping that from Kilo Navas. Up wide towards Dembele, who's picked up an injury, and it's going to be Jurisovic now has the ball to Keane. Keane, Lukucha in space. Lukucha throw on goal. Great save by Navas, and Lukucha misses a wide open goal. Couldn't it? A cow's ass from a banjo today, Lukucha. What a start this is. This is outrageous. Just brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. What a start we've had, and we're going to definitely keep things as they are. We've just got to keep our eyes on what's happening now, and it's Dembele with the, with the injury now. Cuts inside, finds out Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale cuts in, finds Burnett. Burnett now on the attack, and that is the end of that highlight. I can't believe we're abs I can't believe we're winning this, lads. I really can't. It's just brilliant. I'm just going to calmly now tell them to to concentrate, and they've got a free kick in. It's Cruz who plays it in towards Ramos. Ronaldo on the end of it, but it only goes as far as Kojikaru, who clears the danger. Clears his lines and plays it out to Edwin Ibridge. And that is the end of that highlight. We're coming up to around the 70th minute marker now. And I'm going to look to perhaps make a change. And I'm going to do that now while we still can. And we're going to bring off Ruben Perez. But we're going to bring on Raz Van Marin. We're also going to bring on Callum Gribbin for Christian Lacucha, who hasn't really been on form in this game. Gareth Bale has also picked up an injury and has had to go off, it looks like, which is great news. Gareth Bale comes off. Douglas Costa comes on to replace him. We are 2-1 to the good here and we've got around 10 or so minutes to go now. We're just going to passionately tell them now to tighten up. We've got around two minutes left to go. Novacek to Vlad Archim to Callum Gribbin. Gribbin now on the ball. Gribbin's come on. He goes past one, past two. Lofted pass to Jurisovic. Jurisovic though is dispossessed and now it looks like they've got an attack here and it's going to be Ibrich who clears it though to Novacek. Novacek to Archim to Keane to Jurisovic in space. Jurisovic is through on goal and he's been brought down. It is a penalty. Sergio Ramos and it's going to be, it's got to be Keane to take it. Yes! Will Keane makes it three here at the Bernabeu and he puts Stoa Bucharest into a really strong position now. The flare has been lit from the Ross Albastra and it is Will Keane. He does not miss those from the penalty spot. What a penalty from Keane. And I can't believe we've managed to do this today. Dembele, is he going to have a say late on? Dembele with a great shot, but Kojikaru, the cat in goal with a good save, plays it out towards Omaru and we're just going to that is it, guys. 3-1 win over Real Madrid. I can't, genuinely can't believe that. That is that is unbelievable. The manner in which these lads have played today. Outstanding football. We've really, really got the sweets there. Will Keane was exemplary again. Will Keane has been brilliant for us since we retrained him. Back to that shadow striker role. Vlad Archin with that Paul Scholes-esque pile driver from the edge of the box with a, a lovely layback from Paweł Alkowski. How have we managed to do that today? I really don't know. What a fantastic performance from Stoa Bucharest. 76,446 76, people were there to watch that. What an absolutely tremendous 
performance from Steyr Bucharest. Now let's have a look at the schedule and see what's going on. So join us again, which will be tomorrow, for the episode against Dinamo Bucharest, which is going to be a domestic encounter against our fierce rivals. Uh, we haven't had them so far this season, so I thought we'd give them a run uh, in the end, towards the end of the domestic season. We're then going to come back for the second leg of our Champions League fixture against Real Madrid, which we just won the first leg 3-1 away from home. We're in a really strong position, but it's not all over yet. They're a really strong team. They're going to come at us in that second leg, and we're really going to have to be on our A game. So if you've liked this episode today, guys, don't forget to leave a like on the video down below. If you've got any comments, if you enjoyed this performance from the Stoa Bucharest team, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you like the channel, don't forget to leave a like on the video, share on YouTube and whatever social media accounts you've got. Let's get more people coming on and having a look at these episodes and I'll see you again tomorrow.